know whether the patient is symptomatic or patient is asymptomatic. Even before that, you have to know whether the patient is having a serum sodium of less than 130 or the serum sodium of more than 130. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Know whether the patient is symptomatic or patient is asymptomatic. Even before that, you have to know whether the patient is having a serum sodium of less than 130 or the serum sodium of more than 130. Remember, if the serum sodium is more than 130, you do not give any treatment, just observe the patient. That's more than enough. And obviously, if possible, you can give some corrective measures, additional corrective measures, which I told you already. Whenever in this entire lecture, if I use the word corrective measure, it means if depending on the volume status, if you have a hypovolemic hyponatremia, you are going to use isotonic normal saline. If you have a uvolemic or a hypervolemic hyponatremia, the most important is the fluid restriction. So this is going to be the important corrective measure which I'm going to talk about. So which I'm not going to repeat again and again. So you have to ensure and emphasize yourself that this is the corrective measure. That's all. And a lot of other corrective measures which we have discussed already in SADH, we have already discussed in diabetes insipidus and we have discussed already in detail in the previous video also. So I'm not going to emphasize on the corrective measures anymore. I'm just going to emphasize on the acute treatment of hyponatremia. That's all. The sodium is less than 130 and it's acute. Acute are more dangerous in developing the symptoms. Clear? So because anything that is acute to the body, the body will not tolerate that easily. So it's an acute hyponatremia less than 130 means see whether the patient is symptomatic or not. Now I can tell whether the patient is asymptomatic or the patient is symptomatic. The patient is symptomatic, what I have to do is immediately you have to give a 3% NaCl that is hypotonic saline because here the treatment becomes urgent. Because less than 130 acute development of hyponatremia, definitely treatment must be urgent only. And 3% NaCl you should be giving over 10 to 20 minutes. And the dose you will be giving is 100 ml. And wait for the improvement. So suppose if you see this improvement, what do you mean by improvement? you will be having improvement in the neurological symptoms. Because symptoms in hyponatremia means we are talking about neurological symptoms only. We are looking for the improvement in the neurological symptoms. If the improvement doesn't happen, then you can repeat into two more boluses, which means total you can give up to three boluses. That's the indication right now. If there is a good improvement, you can stop giving boluses at that point itself. There is no need. Stop giving bolus at that point and start applying the corrective measures plus or minus corrective measures. That's what you're going to give. So clear? So how will you give 3% SL? First you are given 100 ml. Look for the improvement. No improvement. Give another 100 ml. Look for improvement. And again no improvement. Give another third 100 ml. Suppose even after giving the third, M, third 100 ml, if the patient still has not improved, from the symptoms and the still the patient's neurological symptoms are continuing even after three bolus of 100 ml, uh, 3% NACL, it means then you are unnecessarily wasting time on thinking that the cause of the neurological symptoms is hyponatremia. It may not be the hyponatremia that is causing the neurological symptoms, it could be something else like stroke or some other, I mean, de novo neurological disease that is causing the neurological problem. So that is the reason why the guidelines are telling do not waste time on sodium I mean, uh, thinking about hyponatremia as a cause of neurological symptoms after giving three bolus of 3% NACL and the patient is not improving. So stop there. Three bolus are the indications. So why we are giving this three boluses? Why we are giving this urgent treatment in the first place? Why you need this urgent treatment? Whenever you use this urgent treatment means you are using this hypotonic saline means you are trying to improve the patient's symptoms as soon as possible and the patient's uh, risk of brain herination and all these things you are reducing immediately. So it's been proven by multiple trials, just rising the serum sodium to 4 to 6 milli equivalents as soon as possible, in no time, even in half an hour or one hour, makes a lot of sense. It can rapidly reduce the risk of neurological deterioration. At the same time, they can rapidly reduce the risk of brain herniation also. That's why in all the urgent scenarios, you give 3% NACL. 
and that is to just raise the sodium to 4 to 6 milliequivalents per liter as soon as possible. But wait, you might ask me, sir, you only told that sometime back you should not exceed this 8 milliequivalents per liter per day cutoff. Suppose if I am increasing to 4 to 6 milliequivalents in no time, you told in ASAP, which means if I am increasing to this value within some half an hour or one hour, will I be having the risk of ODS? Actually, no. I clearly told you the risk of ODS is only when you exceed this cutoff over a 24 hour period, not like half an hour or one hour. So even when you have raised the serum sodium to 4 to 6 milliequivalents per liter in half an hour or one hour, it's not a problem at all. You can just stop the correction there and you can wait and you can just slowly rise to uh, make ensure that the serum sodium does not rise to that more than 8 within the next 24 hour mark. So it's not a problem. Acutely, you can rise 4 to 6 even within half an hour or one hour, not a problem at all. But make sure you don't exceed that 8 cutoff over a period of 24 hours. Even if you have exceeded the cutoff, like 8 or 9 you have inherently increased within a period of 2-3 hours. Again, it's not a problem. You are doing at the good intention of the patient to uh, reduce the risk of neurological dehydration. So not a problem. Only after 24 hours, it's a risk. So again, you can reel over the sodium by giving a lot of interventions which we'll discuss in later on. So acutely rising that 4 to 6 should not be a problem for you. So that is to prevent that further neurological deterioration. Be very clear about that.